and so I'm getting ready to start work for the day and I decided to try to catch a trailer real quick before I do that so let's go ahead and check this out this is called countdown it's called a teen thriller movie we'll see check it out what if an app could tell you how long before you die that'd be crazy wouldn't it our phones have become essential keep track of our schedules so our weird fitness, to hear trailer voices sometimes lives. but what if an app could tell you how long i got 63 years 57 years before you die would you want to know i don't i don't think i'd want to know two days this app it's fake obviously my girlfriend said the I same thing you. He knew that app said she was gonna die. Whatever is happening to us, I think it's because of this app. I need a new phone, a new phone, new number, new service. Anything else I can help you with? No. <laughs> the countdown app it's really just a random number with a clock it's not that scary but it seems like it works on youtube clown <laughs> this must be everyone that downloaded the app my sister she downloaded it all we need to do is beat the clock by one second. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, but I've read about it a lot. <laughs> but this doesn't work. A fate much worse than death will pursue you. Come with me. It will overwhelm you until you are utterly destroyed. Yo, are you calling my name? There's an app for that, right? <laughs> There's an app for that. There's an app for almost everything. Okay, so for one thing, this is called <clears throat> a teen thriller movie. Well, none of the... The MC herself and the supporting cast... They don't seem like they're teenagers. If this is supposed to be a movie about teens, or if they just mean a movie for teens, in which case, this doesn't really even seem to be specifically geared towards a movie only for teens. If these characters are supposed to be teenagers, like in high school or college, they picked a, not the, the they didn't pick the best um, representative cast for that because these, these folks obviously look like they're in their early 20s. They don't. They do not look like teenagers. Nor do they sound like teenagers. They don't even seem to act too much like teenagers. I don't know if that's just me being picky, but we know that happens a lot anyway. So it's probably not a a, a huge deal. But the one downside about this trailer, it's just under two and a half minutes long, and it felt very long. It felt like they were showing way too much. Like they did not need to show all the stuff that they that they showed for us to get the basic idea of what this story is about. So I feel like it was overkill in that regard. Um, the film st it still does look interesting to me, and it is still something that I will try to watch. I'm having a feeling it's going to be pretty sucky. The ending's probably not going to be so good. It's going to suffer from ridiculous writing i like the premise the premise is kind of interesting but i'm just not exactly sure how they can write it so that it's going to have a satisfying conclusion or have a conclusion that makes any sort of logical sense now i realize we're talking about horror movies looks like some supernatural stuff is going on perhaps so you know you kind of have to throw logic or 
you know, you have to suspend your belief for the hour and a half that movies like this typically last or whatever. But you still want the writing to make some sort of sense, some sort of logical sense. Even though this story is operating in the realm of impossibility, you still want a solid backbone to the story. You want it to... Um, you want it to make sense. I mean, you want it to be a good, you want it to be a good solid story. So I really get, I mean, I, it's like I mentioned to someone the other day, I have a low bar for the types of movies that I'm willing to check out, even if I know they're going to suck, or even if they suck, I'll still check them out, still watch them. But I do have a high bar for what I consider to be really good writing and, and what makes a good movie because of that writing. So yeah, I might watch something that I know is going to be awful, but in my mind, I know it's awful. I'll watch a movie. I can acknowledge that it's pretty awful because the writing is bad. Because I expect a lot of the writers. I expect a lot from the writers. And most movies, they don't give you that. Most movies are kind of, well, they're all right. You know, it's decent. Some are terrible. And then every once in a while, there'll be, you know, really solidly written movies. And... It seems to be a little bit more rare in the horror genre so I know going into this it's probably not gonna have the best writing but I do like the premise like I said those are the types of things that hook me enough to make me okay I'll give you an hour and a half two hours of my time well I'll probably be watching it as I'm working but I'll still be able to follow the basic storyline so anyway <clears throat> okay I think that is it for this one, you guys. I'm going to wrap it up. i got to get back to work. Bye.